awkward. All right, uh, we're gonna start doing some squats first. I'm trying to open up the hips. So let's go ahead nice and low and stand up nice and tall. So just trying to get a little bit lower every time. Today, um, we're gonna have three moves in every circuit. We're doing for 30 seconds and then three rounds of them because um, it's March. So that's the third of the month. So three moves, three rounds, 30 seconds. Um, let's go nice and wide. Let's go ahead, shift left and right. Kind of getting lateral lunges. Nice and low. It's gonna get two more each side. Here's one. Last one each side, two and two. Good. Let's go ahead, go one foot up, bring it around. Get close to that chest and open up the hip. Two more. Last one. Good switch. Other side. This so one always my hip cracks, so you might find that your hip might crack too. It's fine, just the joints moving a little bit. Let's get one more. Good. Relax. Let's just go kicks in front of you. Trying to stretch out those hamstrings a little bit. Our first circuit is gonna be a little bit more lower body dominant. And then the second circuit will be a little bit more upper body dominant. We're just gonna kind of keep going back and forth. And go, let's go big arm circles, up, up, up. Circle around. And then let's get one more. We'll do some jumping jacks and go. Get 10 more. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. All right. So since there's only three moves, I'm going to just quickly demo them before um, we get started for the block. So your first one is just going to be a um, single arm moved. So you're going to have right dumb or right hand holding that dumbbell left foot's going to stay forward. So I'm just going to have those opposites here in front. I'm going to hit that lunge, stand up, and I'm going to press. So single arm, lunge, press. So we're going to do 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. So technically, that's one move since it's just different sides. Um, and then the second one, we're going to do some swings. So either dumbbell swings, if you have a had a moderate to heavy dumbbell, if your dumbbells are pretty light, Grab both of them, do skier swings instead. And then the last one is going to be jump lunges. So jump lunges, you're gonna be nice and low, use those arms, shifting left and right. If you can't do that jump, then what you're gonna do, just kind of like knee drives. So just a little half lunge, get that little pulse, and then bring those knees up. And I'll just tell you to switch at the halfway point. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the dumbbell. We're gonna have our timer set. Get my stopwatch. Then there. All right. So let's go ahead and get set. Three, two, one. Right side. Lunge, stand, press. Let's put on the couch, please. <laughs> Ten seconds. So these are fairly short intervals. So you wanna go pretty aggressive with the speed. Two more. One, two, good. Quick switch, so less than 10 seconds. Let's go ahead to the other side, go. After this, we're gonna hit those skier swings or dumbbell swings. Good, you got two more. So there's one, two, good. Pick up your dumbbell or dumbbells and get ready for some swings. 30 seconds, really driving with those hips. Get set and go.
Just a slight bend in those knees. Back stay straight the whole time. Ten seconds. Two more. One, two. Good, relax. We're gonna go ahead and drop those weights, jump lunges or those knee drive lunges. All right, to so get set, I'll tell you if you're doing uh, the halfway point, if you're doing the other one. So let's go ahead and get set. Three, two, and one. Timer's on. Don't be afraid to kind of take the tempo down a little bit, but really trying to be powerful on the jump up. And halfway. So if you're doing those one legged switch, two more. One, two. Relax, shake it out. All right, we're going to do three rounds. So grab that dumbbell. Lunge and press. Now that heart rate's up from that last move. It's going to be a little bit harder this round. Here we go. Three, two, one. Right arm holding, left arm stays in front. Press. Breathe, inhale, exhale up. Two more, here's one, two, good, quick switch. Get ready, three, two, go, other side. Ten seconds. One more. Good. All right, one dumbbell or two. Got those swings. Thirty seconds. So if that first one was easy with just one dumbbell, don't be afraid. Grab the heavier one or grab the second one. Get set. Three, two, go. Little hip hinge position, forward. We're emptying that bucket when we're forward. We're filling it back up when we're coming up. Three swings. One, two, three. Good. All right, jump lunges or those knee drives. All right, here we go. Three, I'm gonna demo those uh, knee drives this time. Two, one, go. Halfway. Almost there, hold on to it. A couple more. Three. Two, one, relax. All right, we have one more round and then we're gonna take a quick water break. So let's go ahead, get set one dumbbell in the hand, reverse lunge, press. All right, here we go. Get set, three, two, one. Let's go, right dumbbell. Keep that nice, proud chest looking up towards the camera the whole time. Ten seconds till we switch to that other side. One more. Big, big jump. And good. Just let's go ahead and switch it. Ready? And go.
After this, we have those skier swings or dumbbell swings. Oop, get your balance. Three more. One, two, and three. Good. All right, dumbbell swings. All right, two more moves and we get that drink break. Here we go. Three, two, go. Swings. Fifteen. Let's get a little bit faster. Swing. It shouldn't be a comfortable move. It should be pushing you outside of that comfort zone. If it's not, we're getting a little too comfortable with it. Three, two, one. Good. Let's go ahead. Jump lunges or those knee drives, depending on what's good for you. Last one, let me get that water break. Here we go. Three, two, one. 30 seconds on the clock. Halfway. Let's get three more. One, two, three. Relax. All right. Get a quick water break. One minute on the clock. I'm going to demo the next moves and then we will get going. I'm going to. Change the lighting behind me just a little bit. I'm looking a little white, a little pale. There you go, let's see. Eh, still like, try that. It's a little better. I don't know, something with the lighting, it's just like shadowing on me a little weird. But we'll roll with it. As long as you can see my body, that's all that really matters. Um, all right, so next three I'm going to show you. We're going to start on the ground. Um, so move the camera down a little bit here. So first one, we're going to do shoulder taps. So whether you're in that full plank or if you have to go on your knees, it's up to you. But keep in mind, it's only 30 seconds. So you'd be surprised most people can hold it for 30 seconds. So Wider the base of your feet, it's gonna make it a little bit easier. Coming closer, it's gonna be a little bit harder. So find a good stance for you. You're just gonna really tighten that core, tap left, tap right. I really want you to feel your abs kicking in and try not to rotate those hips when you're moving up and down or trying to make sure your uh, butt doesn't go up. So that's your first one. Second move, we're gonna grab one dumbbell. Um, again, you're gonna hold a plank here. So you'll drop for 10 seconds or so, get a recovery. You're gonna grab one dumbbell, plank again. You're just gonna bring it over to the right side, reset, left arm grabs, pulls it over to the left. So you're just gonna do these core rotations. As an option, if you can't do that plank, I would go all fours, one hand behind my head, bring it in toward the elbow, open up. You'll go half on one side. And then the last one is going to be a two part move, just like we did last time, single arm. You're going to have one dumbbell um, going up and down the whole time. The other one's going to stay halfway. So it's going to be like this for 30 seconds. Then after that one, we're going to switch other side for 30 seconds. Okay, so those are your moves. So have your dumbbell ready near you. Let's get on the ground. We're starting that plank position with those shoulder taps, three rounds. All right, so here we go. Three, two, and one. Tap away. Upper body burn here. My hips aren't moving at all. They're staying grounded to the floor. Halfway. Three, two, one, good. Quick drop, shake out the arms a little bit. Grab that weight or get set in that position on all fours. 
up to you here. All right, here we go. 30 seconds, three, two, one. So watch that dumbbell, right arm grabs it from the left side, brings it over to the right. Reset those arms, left arm grabs, pulls it over to the left. Shoulders are going to burn after a few rounds of this. Three, two, one. On your feet, bicep, or bicep curls. Five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. So bend one arm, other one is going up and down for 30 seconds. Trying to get that full rotation, palms up the whole time. Get about three more. Three, two, one. Good, just relax them at your sides for a couple seconds. Get a, bit, a, little, a little bit of a relief, then the other arm's gonna go. Three, two, go. Other side. Got about 10 seconds, hold it. Keep those dumbbells up. Three more, three, two, one. Drop those weights, hit the ground. We got plank taps again. All right, so shake them out. My forearms are really tight today, so those curls are hurting. Here we go, three, two, go, tap. Halfway, 15. Three, two, one, drop. Quick shake, grab that weight. We're gonna do those pullovers or pull throughs. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. You can always do this on your knees, just like this. If you are doing on your knees, make sure your body weight's in your arms though. You're not just sitting back, halfway. Three, two, one, relax, grab those weights, standing up, hitting those bicep curls. All right, here we go. 30 seconds and go. Whichever side you wanna start with is totally fine. Just hitting that one side up and down though. Ten. Three, two, one. Good. Just relax them for a second. Breathe. We're going to go to the opposite side. All right. Three, two, go. Other side. Ten. Three, two, one. Good. That one definitely burned a little bit more than the last one. Shake it out. One more round here, and then we're going to move on. Next round is going to be a lot more cardio, a lot more jumping up and down. 
Um, so let's get set for that. So here we go. We're going plank taps. Three, two, go. Either in that full plank or that modified plank, depending on what you need to do. Almost there. We have three and two and one. Relax, shake out those arms. I promise we're not gonna be in much more planks for the day. So I know the wrists start to get a little tight. Grab that one dumbbell, get set for the pull throughs, or again, you can do those openers. All right, here we go. Three, two, go, pull through. And relax, breathe. All right, last one here of those bicep curls. Go ahead, and get stand up. All right, last one. Three, two, go. Timer's on. Whatever side you want to start with. Keep that chest nice and proud. Trying to get that full road, uh, range of motion. So all the way, slowly. You're gonna feel it kick in those forearms just a little bit. That's good. Got about three more curls. One, two, three, good. Relax them at your sides. Last thing before that water break here. Ready, set, go, other side. Fifteen, halfway. Keep going. It's starting to burn. <laughs> Got about three more. Here's one, two, three. Good. Drop them. Shake it out. Next uh, circuit here. Got like about a minute and a half on the clock. Get a quick water break. Next circuit is definitely, like I said, a lot more jumping, a lot more um, heart rate moves. Okay, so I'm gonna demo them while you're just still taking recovery. Um, first one, gonna be a jumping jack, plank jack. So you're only in the plank for a split second. You're gonna do one jumping jack, you're gonna hit the ground, open up the legs, one plank jack, and then you're gonna stand. For an option, you can just do those jumping jacks instead, um, or like even just like a jog in place. But basically, we just want to find something that's going to get the heart rate up. You can also do the jumping jack and then walk it to the ground and don't do the plank jack. So a couple of different options there. Second one, pop squats. So what a pop squat is, basically you're hitting a squat. You're going to move your hips to the left, do a squat, hips to the right. You're just going to keep going left and right. Um, option, fast space squats, just like this. And then last one is going to be punches. So you can hold dumbbells if you want um, to really focus on the strength aspect. If you want to focus more on just your heart rate, then what you're going to do, you're going to do up and down squatting while you're doing it. So holding your fake dumbbells, um, you're going to kind of go into a squat, stand back up. All right. So if your weights are too heavy, that's your option. If you really want to focus on that shoulder burn, grab the weights. Okay. So let's get set. Um, we're going to start with those kind of burpee plank jacks or jumping jack plank jacks. Timer's on, 30 seconds. Get ready in three, two, and go. Timer's on. So jumping jack, hit the ground. Plank jack, up. Jumping jack, down. Plank jack.
One more. Here's that last one. Jumping jack. Down. Plank jack. Up. Relax. Shake the legs out. Next one. We're going to those pop squats. All right. Or just regular fast paced squats. All right. Three, two, go. So hitting that squat, hips to the left. Squat, hips to the right. If you want to add a punch here too, you can. If you want to just get a little bit more arms. Good, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Relax, shake it out. Next one, gonna be those punches. So I'm gonna do the one that's hardest to show. It's just gonna be that kind of lowering of the squat up and down. Um, but feel free to add some dumbbells. All right, so here we go. We're going in three, two, one, punches, get lower with every punch, then slowly start to stand back up. Fast with the arms. Breathe. A few more, five, Three and one, relax. All right, back to plank jack, jumping jacks. Five seconds. We only got about eight minutes left on the day. Here we go, three, two, go. Jumping jack, hit the ground, plank jack. Look at my timer. Here we go, halfway. One more. Three, two, one. Stand up, pop squats. Take a deep breath. Deep exhale. Here we go. Ready, set, and go. Pop squats. Fifteen. Get about two more. One, two. Relax, breathe. All right, next one. Gonna be those uh, punches. All right. Deep breath. Deep exhale. Here we go. Three, two. Go, punch. Get lower, I'm gonna go to the profile so you can see actually bending, lifting back. Weight shifts from that heel to the glutes, lifting up. And five, four, three, Two, one, relax. Final round of this, and then we got some core work to do and a little bit of burpees. All right, fun stuff. Here we go. Get set, jumping jack, plank jacks. Three, two, go. Last one of these. Jumping jack, the ground, plank jack. Halfway. One more, last one here. Plank jack and stand. Oh my God, stop. My cat's just rubbing against the uh, screen. Um, 
let me get it. She knocked off the thing. All right. Um, we're gonna go pop squats. So here we go. Get set. Three, two, one. Pop squats. To the left. To the right. Nice and low in these squats. A lot of squatting this one. 15, halfway. Here we go, two more. Left, right, relax. All right, punches. 30 seconds, and then we get some core work. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, punches. You wanna think you have a punching bag in front of you. You wanna punch as fast as you can. So don't be weak or easy on the arms. Tighten that core. Someone's about to punch your core. Squeeze. We got five, four, three, two, one. Relax. All right, quick water break. You got one final round and then we're done. Grab my water. So last one, we're gonna be on the ground for all of them except for the burpee. So your first one is gonna be a double crunch. You're gonna hold one dumbbell. You're gonna be elongated. So legs straight, arms are straight. Holding that dumbbell, I'm gonna to crunch towards my knees and then extend back out. All right, so we're gonna do those for 30 seconds. Our second move, we're gonna flip over onto our side. You have one knee bent for an option, hands behind my head. I'm just gonna crunch up and down for that leg. For a challenge, you can go ahead, straight leg or on top of your toes like this, lifting up that hip, so like a side plank. So pick what's best for you. We're gonna do 30 seconds on the left, 30 on the right, and then we're gonna finish with some burpees. All right, so. Three rounds, 30 seconds, and then we are done for the day. So let's go ahead on the ground. Get that one dumbbell. Double crunch. Here we go. Three, two, go. 30 seconds. Crunch and extend. Those legs can come all the way to the ground at the bottom. Two more. There's one and two. Good. All right. So either you're laying on that side on that elbow, either completely in a side plank or with one knee bent. Let's go ahead, get set into those crunches. Three, two, one. So you're just going to lift up, come back up. So even if your knee is down, you're still lifting your hip up. Crunch all the way. You can even bring that arm all the way to extended, coming forward. And switch. Other side. Three, two, one, go. You can bring that elbow a little bit forward. It's going to help you get a little bit further. Three, two, one. All right, we're almost out of time. So we're just gonna finish the day. We'll go one minute of burpees. All right, so let's get set. Last minute, as many burpees as you can get in. All right, timer's on. Three, two, one, go. 
up and down, or you can do jumping jacks, you can do jog in place, whatever it is, pick something, stick with it. Halfway, 30 seconds. Fifteen, keep going. You got one more in you. Big, big jump for this last one. And relax. Love and a burpee is always rough. All right, we are done. Have a wonderful week. We will see you next time. Bye, guys.